I'm not really able to answer something yeah. to the right now. So yeah. the question I wanted to ask because I know that in terms of uh, regulations to release a film in France commercially, it, a lot of times it has been it, it's a, a very complicated uh, thing for a Nigerian film for several reasons. One of them being that it's not a European film, that there's no European uh, fund in it, so that therefore the distributors are not supportive uh, in their endeavors, and so the risk is considered too high. So I mean, I, I want to have clarity on, the, on this one. What I can say is that I have, uh, for instance, next week, if you are still in Paris, you can join us because we are organizing the FESPACO in Europe, and we, we were in Brussels last week with, with, with these guys, and next week it will be in Paris. We have uh, six movies uh, for during three days, two movies a day. Uh, it was the best of the FESPACO, the two uh, gold and uh, uh, silver and uh, bronze uh, uh, for fiction and gold for documentary and others. And it, it isn't just a commercial event because people are buying their tickets for, for this. And we try to do our best for African, African cinema. But for instance, I have been trying with my partners in France to uh, distribute movies uh, famous movies, African movies, even Frank, Francophone, like Frontier, for instance, with a, a famous uh, Burkina Bay uh, film from Apogee Traoré. And it is a nightmare in France because this movie was not French, so it didn't uh, fit with all the reg uh, regular CNC regulations. So it's a big risk for the distributor to, to put the movie in theaters because there are costs, there are advertising. There and uh, we were quite disappointed with the number of tickets sold uh, for the movies. And I know that there are also today some other experience, for instance, from the movies uh, awarded in FESPACO, who are doing very badly uh, uh, in, in, in theaters because there is no, for man, no taste, not enough taste for, for the French audience to, to go for African movies. This is what we try to do with FESPACO in Europe and other opportunities to, to bring these movies and to, to make sure that uh, one day if there will be a market. Well, you have to bear in mind that <coughs> distribution in French theaters is a very tough market because yeah. every week yeah. you have between 15 to 25 movies that are released. So uh, on a yearly basis you have between 650 and 700 movies that are released in theaters. So it's a, it's, it's a fight between movies and also uh, there's the issue of uh, for a theater to know which one they are going to take on, uh, on, a new, on, the, on, the, on the week number one, how many films they are going to, 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 to give back to the distributor. So it's, it's, really, a, it's, it's, it's really a fight, it's really hard. So how can you exist uh, for, for for films that come <laughs> from far away, uh, the, a, fest, a big festival label is very useful. It helps the distributor to market e more easily. Uh, if a, a Nigerian film to be released in France without a big festival label, like, I don't know, a, a prize in Locarno, uh, oh, and of course Cannes, huh? if you have Cannes there. Berlin, uh, Venice, uh, Locarno, uh, Sundance, Toronto. Uh, Toronto. If you don't have those labels, those big labels, it's for a Nigerian film, it's not easy because then uh, how, how, do you, how do you convince the audience on a cinematography that's not very well known here? Uh, when you release an American film with a good pitch, okay, uh, you know there's the quality. You know. But today, people are not familiar with Nigerian uh, cinema. So you need those labels. Then the CNC can support the distributor with some money to finance part of the PNAs, of the costs. But, but of course, if you want to release in a proper manner, you need posters in the street, in the metro. You need uh, uh, a lot of press relations. Uh, so it's costly. Uh, we help a little, but it's true that the distributor bears a big part of the, of the risk. And then the then there are other issues like the, the date when you release, uh, uh, how many films are mm -hmm. on the same market uh, <laughs> layer, mm -hmm. etc. Uh, so it's, it's not an easy thing. But, uh, but a, a movie like um, uh, I'm Not a Witch, the, it's from Zambia. It's from Zambia. Mm -hmm. Zambia. Uh, that's that kind of film, uh, I, I don't remember which festival they went to. Uh, but, uh, 
descendants. They had a good, they had a fair <coughs> for, uh, distribution career in France. Uh, it was a super high uh, quality film in a way. Fits perfectly the taste of the of the art house uh, clientele, the, the, the art house audience. But then you cannot say that there is very there, there is only that kind of film that will succeed. But mm -hmm. if you have some quality, a label, you can manage. Yeah, there, are, there are examples of movies like Benda Bidoui or yes. Timbuktu who have been doing well on the French market, but they were produced in, in uh, not yeah, Benda Bidoui. Timbuktu, Timbuktu is a French production. French production. Mm -hmm. Benda Bidoui was shot in, um, in, in Kinshasa by a uh, local producer. Uh, there are examples, you know, but there are only, only few examples. Mm -hmm. This is the issue. I like to comment on that because I like the word Julian say. In order to get a movie distributed in France, you have to be a fighter. I went through the whole process. We got the first movie to go. Your temporary visa to make festivals is fine. You can get very quick. You send, and they like you two weeks notice. You get the visa, you can do. To make a real distribution, you have to go through the full process to get a full visa. Full visa, they help a lot. But you have to track down all the copyright chain. And that's a big challenge. But we've been mm -hmm. successful. That's secondly, MK2, which is also uh, uh, let's say uh, an international intelligent distributor of the catalog, they are investing in movies like the young generation movies who are being screened at festivals. That they would be interesting to look at it. But the main issue today when we started with the industry is that, as you said, to make a minimum and to get your head, I think you need five uh, uh, cities in France to be released in order to get some uh, help. And then it would cost minimum 50,000 euro. The problem at the very beginning is that this industry is emerging with 50,000 euro, you could make one movie. Maybe two movies. But now the budgets are increasing. So this is the big issue. The people will say, Francis, where are we? But you get the exposure. First, the movie has to be seen on the big screen. So, but we can do it here very well. The beautiful place to be, and I think the best scenario is to find one movie house to be screening, maybe like in Hollywood or in certain area or Luxor, to have a regular program. Like also, we are, I think the guy from uh, Action Christine could be to start to have an Hollywood. Continually, the festival is great. Africa, what has been initiated is great. We have all this gathering mm -hmm. to get into the real terms. Yeah, for just a movie. Of course, then you have all the added value chains in order to get for the distribution. But we have the spirit, and there is money to be, uh, let's say, invested and to be made out is properly planned. But this is the issue, the challenge between the low, the different budgets in mind. I, have a, I want to come back what you said about investing in an Hollywood movies. If yeah. the, if the, uh, if the market is so interesting in uh, Nigeria for Nigerian movies. I do not think so that it would be very easy for a French investor who, who has uh, in front of him many opportunities to invest from other, from uh, Tunisia, from uh, uh, Japan, from other countries, from USA, to invest in Nigerian movies. The best way to have French producers, co-producers, or partners is to start with them from the beginning and not just calling them at the end and say, oh, I've been doing one million Nera's uh, box office, you, you can invest in my movies. It does not work like that in cinema. And if you want if you want to be sure that there is a chance for a movie made in your country by a director with a, a crew, a lo local crew, you, you have to add other um, qualities, other um, uh, things that will be able to make the movie famous uh, in our country or in Europe. And this is something which is missing because uh, we at DIFA, we are also supporting co-production, uh, not as DIFA, but we find co-producers to uh, uh, African producers. And uh, the best thing is really to start from the beginning and to develop the movie together and to see what is possible to do between two countries or three, two or three countries. If not, there is no chance. to ask if there was any question, so I guess <laughs> really want. Um, we're going to have to take a few questions to, to close this session and then we'll just go to the next uh, session. Yes, thank you Serge. So, uh, my name is Florence Lewakwa, I'm a producer and uh, I've been coming in Hollywood uh, with festival for the last five, six years and actually I'm working at that time how to connect Nigerian French cinema industry and this is something you really point one of the issues is to start at the beginning of the project. So my main goal at this time is to find good energy, DIFA, CNC, Canal Olympia, NGO, 
materials and other uh, main uh, structures from the cinema industry to open uh, studios in France for co-production with Nigerian industry first, but also with other African countries, French areas, uh, Central Africa, and, uh, and so on. So you are the leaders and uh, I will